Hello and welcome back to my channel for another video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I always appreciate your support. So I recently did some shopping at H&M. I know, I know, it's a bit out there for me, but I thought I would show you what I got this time. I find H&M to be really easy and simple to shop from, and I also think they're really mid-size and plus-size friendly, which I love. But if there are any other brands that you would like me to do a review of or try some pieces from or do a haul or something like that, just drop me a comment down below and let me know what else you would like to see, and I'll get right on it. So today I have a bunch of pieces from H&M's new arrival section, and it's probably better for me to just show you what I got rather than trying to explain with our visuals so let's get into it so the first item in the haul is actually what I am wearing right now I was so desperate to try it on that I thought I would chuck it on for the video and this one is the H&M plus long satin shirt in the color series so they have it in their H&M plus range and also in their regular H&M range I got a size large from the plus range so I don't know if that's the same as the large from their regular range but that's what I got it's a really beautiful color I actually love it I think it looks gorgeous with the gold jewelry gorgeous with my red nails right now pink is a really nice color for me and it just feels so summery and gorgeous which I know some of you are going into fall and winter right now but like bright colors for winter are a thing as well you've got to lift yourself out of those dark and dreary days and a bit of color is often just the ticket to do that so this is the shirt I think unstyled um, it's probably a bit overwhelming but I think it could definitely be styled in a bunch of different ways to kind of like neat it up a little bit and make it more flattering so so this is what the sleeves are like I like the cuffs I think that's cute it's not like a business shirt it's sort of a little bit don't really know how to describe that but it's not the kind of cuff that you would have on a business shirt it's got this little flappy bit here that I think makes it maybe a little bit more feminine so I might pull those up just a little bit it's obviously got pockets on the front here they're actually quite large pockets like they go from my chest down to my actual waist so that's wild and it's quite a long top you could definitely wear it as a dress and that's partly what I was intending to do when I bought the size that I did I wanted it to be long enough to be a dress so I'll show you how long it is I am wearing jeans underneath but you'll get the picture so this is the length it goes almost to my knees and then it sort of has a split on the side that comes up to maybe mid thigh but that's like perfectly acceptable it's a gorgeous floaty fabric as well. I think it folds really nicely. It feels nice on the body. It's not itchy or anything like that. So yeah, I really like this one. So the second item I have is the V-neck blouse in the color black, and I got this one in a size large. So this is what this one is like. Um, it's a really soft fabric. It's like a fake silk kind of fabric. Let me see what it's made from. Okay, so it's 100% polyester. It definitely feels like a plasticky kind of fabric, um, but I'm happy with that. Like it, it's, it's a fabric that drapes nicely and has that kind of brushed silk kind of sheen on it, which is really nice. So I'll pop it on and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this one is not a keeper because it is too tight on the arms and that is one of my absolute pet hates for any item of clothing, but it's a really nice fabric um, and I actually really like the neckline. So I would be tempted to go back and get it in the size up. And what I would say is that if you're getting this one for yourself and you tend to have a problem with things being too tight on the arms, absolutely size up because um, this is not happening. But I think the neckline is super flattering. I actually think I could get away with this one for work. Um, it's not actually too low cut. It kind of finishes just where you would need it to for it to be work appropriate. It really doesn't expose that much of the decolletage. There's like just enough neck to get the necklaces in, which I think is really nice. And then also like tucked into jeans or something. I think it would be really cute for an evening look as well. So I'll just show you what the hem and everything else looks like as well. So this is it. It's really cute. Like it's a good length. I'd probably tuck it in, but I do like, it fits nicely through the body. It's like a really nice kind of fit if you're curvy and the neck looks gorgeous. It's just the arms that are too tight. That's all. Tuck it in and show you like that. Oh, that's such a nice look. A little heel. That'd be so nice. The next item is this gingham top and it is called the cropped puff sleeve top in black and white check. And I got this one in a size large. Okay, so here's this top. It smells very plasticky. The material that it's made from, it doesn't feel very nice, but it looks really cute. I hope it looks cute on. It's got sort of like elastic ruching at every opportunity. So it's all around the neckline. I guess that means that you could wear it up on your shoulders and also like on the sides of your arm if you want. And then it also has like around the waist, another section of ruching there as well. So I will put this on and show you what it looks like. Okay, this is really cute and also really comfortable. So this is what the top looks like. 
I think the square neckline is a really flattering detail. It comes quite a long way out here, but like it actually is pretty easily covering my bra, which is one of the most important things with these like wide neck tops. Obviously the Berté Goletage like shows off your jewelry and that looks really nice. It is quite short. Like I have an exceptionally short torso and I'm wearing the Levi's rib cage jeans under here. So that like covers my midsection just fine. Um, but like, it's a pretty short top. I don't know. It actually, no, it's, it's a good length. I think that looks really cute. I like this. The sleeves are almost like a three quarter kind of length, or I don't know if that's, they feel three quarters because they finish on your arm here, but then that I suppose flaps over like that. It's so cute. I really like this one. I don't, don't think I expected to like this one as much as I do. The next item is the Voluminous Resort shirt in the color black and I got a size medium. So this is this one. It's um, a slightly shiny fabric, as you can see. It drapes nicely, which is good. Good to see. Let me see what the fabric is made of. Okay, so it's 100% viscose. So I'm not expecting this to be an especially breathable top, which is probably not a great idea because it's like a short sleeve floaty top, ideal for midsummer, but then you make it in a fabric that isn't breathable. I don't know. Let's see what it looks like on. Okay, so this is the top on. I like how it looks around the neckline as well. I love these necklaces that I got recently and I'm just loving anything that shows them off basically. Hang on, let me just move you. I think it's that the fabric is a bit shiny. So I also got this top in a linen fabric and also in black. Um, so I'll see how that one looks and if that has a better vibe than this one or not. Like this one's fine. I just think I'm not into the shiny fabric. That's all. Okay. So the next piece is essentially the linen version of this top. It's called the linen resort shirt in the color black. And I got this one in a size large. Okay. So this is this one. It looks quite wide. So I hope it doesn't sort of swallow me up when I put it on. I like the look of the linen, but this linen does feel a tiny bit scratchy, which is something that I find with H&M linen. So I'm not sure why, but I will throw this one on and see how it looks. Okay. So this is this one on the linen version and I do quite like it. I think maybe it swallows my frame up a little bit, but I could probably deal with that. I think if I paired it with a pair of um, like light blue or white shorts, that would probably balance out the look enough for that to not be overwhelming on my frame. And when I say that things are overwhelming on my frame, it's just that I am not very tall. And in particular, the top half of me is quite short. So tops that are large and also dresses that are large, they tend to just be very tent-like on me. So yeah, this is the linen shirt. I really love how the linen looks. I think it's a really cool look. It would be great for holidays. Yeah, I think this is a cool vibe. Okay, so the next item is the denim jacket in the color light beige and I got a size 14. I haven't had a denim jacket in my wardrobe for ages and I was actually looking for a blue one, but then when I came across this beige one, I thought it might go better with like my summer dresses to make them kind of more transseasonal or, you know, just to have something to throw on on a slightly cooler evening. So here it is. I really like the color. It looks concerningly small, but we'll see how that goes. It's also quite cropped. I don't know if you can tell, which is probably good for me, but if you're taller or if you're looking for a longer denim jacket, it might not be the one. It feels really nice quality as well. Um, I have found H&M's denim to be fairly good quality, so that's not altogether surprising. It has like all the nice denim jacket kind of details. It's got some seams down here. It's got a pocket. Is that a real pocket? That's a real pocket. It fits a whole hand. Okay, it's a little bit stretchy, so that's nice. Oh, it actually, it feels good. Okay, here we go. So I could pull it up and do it up, but it's definitely not. Yeah, I think that's probably, you know what they say, like just because it zips doesn't mean it fits. And I know that a lot of people, myself included, have plenty of jackets that we, like they don't fit, they don't do up at the front, but we still wear them because you often don't need a jacket to do up at the front anyway. But I'm still pretty hesitant to buy a jacket with that in mind. So I'd be tempted to exchange this for the next size up and see if that works a bit better. But the jacket feels really nice. So if you can get it in your size, would recommend. Feels really high quality. The color of the cream is really nice. And I think it looks quite good, even though it doesn't fit. So I thought it would be quite short, but actually it's probably the right length on me. So if you were tall, it would definitely be like much more cropped. And then on me, it's just kind of a hip length jacket. So that's that one. Okay, so next we have the seamless dress in the color black, and this one is a size large. Seamless dress, right? Seamless? It's ribbed. So this is another one of those like midi length ribbed dresses, and I'm not really sure why I keep doing this to myself because I haven't kept any of them so far, but a part of me clearly really wants a midi length black ribbed dress. I just think it would be such an easy piece to chuck on in summer and look chic immediately. 
So here is the dress. It definitely has like an underwear feeling about it. When you stretch it out, it looks a bit see-through. So I have a feeling that it's going to be maybe a bit too see-through across my chest. It's got a lovely low back on it. I think that might be what was the most appealing thing about it. And then the rib is like, it actually like the fabric feels quite nice. And the rib is this fine rib knit. I'm not sure if you can see that. And then it's just sort of hemmed at the bottom like that. I do have a feeling it's going to be too see-through, but only way to find out is to put it on. Okay, so I have the dress on and I have a few notes. It's not too see-through, which is good. I don't think it's see-through at all actually, but it was very tight to get over my head. And then once I was kind of like rolling it down my body, it was much, things improved drastically. I thought it was going to be super uncomfortable, but then it wasn't. It was just actually getting it over my head and shoulders was a bit uncomfortable. Similar to putting on shapewear, if you've experienced that yourself. And then the straps here are in a bit of an awkward position for bra lines and shapewear and that sort of thing, but that's an easy fix with just wearing a different type of garment. And then on the back, same deal where today I'm just like, it's showing a few bits underneath, um, but that's also an easy fix. And yeah, I think it looks really chic actually. I will show you the full length. So as you can see, it comes down to sort of just below my knees. And I think it like gives a really nice smooth kind of shape. I actually really like this dress. So there you go. Okay, so the next item is a pair of shoes. These are the sandals in the color black and I got a size 38. Okay, so these are the sandals. Basically, I don't have a pair of strappy black heels or sandals or anything like that that I can wear kind of like out at night. But also um, in Sydney, I don't really wear heels a lot because I tend to do quite a lot of walking, getting the train, that sort of thing. So I thought something with a lower block heel would probably be more practical for me. And aside from that, these shoes are super cute. I think I've already decided that I'm gonna keep these ones. They're like super affordable. I think they were only $30. That's Australian dollars. So it might be different where you're from, but yeah, like incredible. Incredible. They're so cute. I really like these ones. Okay, so the final item is the smocking detail dress in the color cream slash floral and I got this one in a medium. Okay, so this is this dress and I was, I think I bought it because it's just so beautiful. It's got this gorgeous floral pattern. It's got long sleeves. It's got the sharing around the bust and the waist, which is always really flattering. I think it's part of a special like collection that they did. But yeah, it's just so pretty. The fabric is, it says it's 100% organic cotton and like it doesn't feel incredible, but it feels quite nice. Definitely perfectly wearable. The shirring around the middle feels quite robust, which is good. And then it's quite a long dress. I have a feeling this is gonna be maybe like mid calf length on me. So let's see. Okay, so here is the dress and it's still very pretty. I feel like I should be dozing in a meadow in beautiful, gorgeous, sunny weather or something like that. Um, it's a square neckline as well. It pleasingly, like this is because it's ruched, I think you can pull it in to cover your bra straps, which is really nice. Um, the square neckline is super flattering. I think long sleeves are good. It's good to change things up. It's good to have some different options. Long sleeves obviously cover your arms from the sun a little bit, which is nice. You don't have to put on as much sunscreen. The shirring around the bust and the waist, it kind of goes just under the bust. So it's a bit of a Bridgerton style empire line dress rather than like going down to the waist and then kind of flaring out. And I think this is maybe a little bit less flattering on me because I have a larger chest. And so it tends to look a bit mumsy when there's no kind of like defined waist, but that's what we've got going on. I'll show you what the full length looks like and you can make your own judgments. So there we go, it's quite long. It comes down basically to my ankles, um, which is not surprising given that I am only 161 centimeters tall. But there you go. I think, I'm, I, don't, I don't think it swallows me, which is good. We don't like it swallowing. I think it's really cute. I actually like this a lot more than I thought I would. I was ready for it to make me look like a tent and I don't think it does. So that's it. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you back here for another video soon.